It's time for my annual GoPro accessory guide. I do one of these every year to correspond with the release of a new GoPro. So the Hero 12 just came out and so I have 13 different accessories here to recommend, including one accessory that I don't recommend. So you have to stay tuned to hear which one that one is. So since I do this accessory guide every year, I try to include different accessories that I haven't talked about in my previous accessory guides. There might be a little bit of overlap, but largely these are new accessories. Also, most of these accessories are compatible with a lot of different GoPro models, not just the Hero 12, but I will try to make that distinction when I'm going over each of these accessories. So the first accessory that I recommend is this extra long thumb screw. This is made by Snap Mounts. They make a bunch of other accessories as well, but I really like this extra long thumb screw in particular because if you compare it to the regular sized GoPro thumb screw, you can see that it's slightly longer. Because it's so long, I find that it's easier to grip and makes it much faster to take your GoPro in and out of the mount. Plus it adds a little splash of color, which not everyone might like, but personally, I like it. The next accessory is the Falcam 3-in-1 adapter. So this is pretty neat because if you look at my GoPro here, I've actually added the DJI magnet mount to the bottom. So this is something new that DJI has come out with their action cameras. And it's one of the top features that I think DJI has over GoPro. You know, GoPro does have their little buckle mount, but I just never really got into it. I really like DJI's magnet mount instead. So if you wanna add the magnet mount to a GoPro, you can now do that. So what you do is you replace the bottom adapter of a GoPro. This works with the Hero 9, 10, 11, and 12, and you just replace it with this adapter. And once you have the new adapter in, you now have the DJI magnet mount. You also have the GoPro fingers and you have your quarter inch hole on the bottom. So it gives you three different mounts that you can use with your GoPro, and I personally get the most use out of that magnet mount for DJI because I can now use it with DJI specific mounts that are available, and it just gives me that flexibility to quickly get my GoPro from one mount to another. This next accessory is one that I have talked about before because it is my absolute favorite portable battery charger. But this is by First Power, and you can charge up to three GoPro batteries at once. It'll charge the Enduro batteries as well as the blue batteries before that, and there's even these little adapters so you can adapt the smaller, older GoPro batteries in here as well. It's a nice step up from the official GoPro charger, which only charges two batteries. And this charger also has two micro SD card slots. So it kind of doubles as a memory card holder as well. Now it does not have a built-in battery. You do have to plug this into a wall charger via USB-C, but I still like that it has a cover because this fits so nicely into my pocket and I really prefer it over the official GoPro battery charger. So you can get this charger only version for $15.99 or you can actually get a version that comes with three third-party batteries for $39.99. The single GoPro Enduro battery is $24.99, so it gives you an idea of the value. I personally recommend sticking with official GoPro batteries, but if you're really on a budget, then you might want to consider the third-party battery option. The fourth accessory that I recommend is the Max Lens Mod 2.0. It right now is only compatible with the Hero 12 Black. I don't see it being backwards compatible with any other GoPros, but what's really nice about it is that if you attach it to your Hero 12, you can get the ultra wide Max Hyperview lens, along with Max Hypersmooth and a full 360 degree horizon lock. This is the widest lens that I've ever seen on a GoPro. And as you can see, there is a lot of side distortion, so it may not work well for every single filming situation out there, but in select circumstances, you can get some really cool and unique shots with this lens. It's also waterproof to 16 feet or five meters when it's attached to the GoPro, but it is a little pricey. It's about $100. The fifth accessory that I recommend is the GoPro Media Mod. So the Media Mod gives you the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack on the back, as well as a micro HDMI port and a USB-C port, as well as built-in microphones. So right now I have that built-in mic. It's got a little foam uh, wind protector on it, which actually offers even more protection against the wind. And we have it set to front and back sensitivity, which is a new feature added to the Hero 12. It was present on, I believe it was the Hero 9, but they took it out for the Hero 10 and 11. So it's nice to see that feature back because if I spin the camera around in the opposite direction, now I'm standing behind it and that foam protection is gonna offer us some good wind protect protection uh, because it is actually pretty windy right now. I don't know if you can tell.
The Media Mod also has a cold stream mount on top for adding accessories like the GoPro Lite Mod or a microphone like this Sennheiser external microphone, which is actually my favorite for vlogging with the GoPro. Now, if you buy the GoPro Creator Combo, you will get the Media Mod included, but you can also buy it separately for about $80. Now, since I mentioned the creator combo, let's mention another accessory that can come in the creator combo or you can buy it separately, and that is the GoPro Volta. So if you're not familiar with the Volta, it's a handle that also has a built-in mini tripod, plus it has a built-in 4,900 milliamp hour battery, which gives you a total of five and a half hours of shooting time in 4K30. You can also use the internal battery to charge other USB-C devices. It also has a wireless remote control built into the handle, so you can control the camera from up to 98 feet or 30 meters away, and it's water resistant. So overall, I think it's a really great little piece of filming equipment to go along with your GoPro. I do wish that it extended, that's my only gripe about it, but the nice thing is there is a quarter inch hole in the bottom so you could attach a pole like the Insta360 pole, which is my favorite one, and make this into an extendable selfie stick as well. The next accessory that I recommend is also an option in the creator combo or you can buy it separately, and that is the GoPro Light Mod. So again, I had my hesitations about this because it is very specific to GoPro. Can't stick this on another camera. It just slides into the top cold shoe mount of the Media Mod and kind of clicks into place. And as you can see from the size, it's really optimized to fit the GoPro in particular, and it is really simple to operate. There's just a single power button up top, which you can also press repeatedly to go through the different brightness modes. The light mod does come with a little diffuser which pops on top. I do wish it was a little bit more secure because I do accidentally pop it off from time to time, but using that diffuser is really nice to get the light to be nice and soft. Overall, for the size and the light quality, I do think it's a nice accessory to use your GoPro if you're gonna film in the dark or in low light situations. The next GoPro accessory I'm gonna mention is actually a prototype. It's currently out on Kickstarter, should be available for purchase in March of 2024, but it's called the Action Box Cine. So this is an alternative GoPro cage that's pretty unique from the other ones that I've seen on the market. But what you do is you slide your GoPro in through the back, and then you can add accessories such as this matte box to block out light flares, which for me is a common problem when I'm shooting with my GoPro. You can also add stackable magnetic filters. These filters are custom made for the Action Box Cine and they're made from Gorilla Glass, so they're pretty tough. And the quality is actually quite good. You have the option of three ND filters or a circular polarizer. And the polarizer is especially neat because the box has a wheel on the side so you can rotate the polarizer without touching the glass, which I've never seen on a product like this before. The cage also has a cold shoe mount on the side for adding accessories. And you can add the GoPro mic adapter as well. But unfortunately, the media mod does not fit in this box. And finally, the bottom has two mounts. You have the foldable GoPro fingers or a quarter inch hole on the bottom. As I mentioned, this is just a prototype. If you wanna learn more about it, you can check the link below for more information. Accessory number nine that I recommend for your GoPro is the Hohem iSteady Pro 4 Gimbal. Now, as you might notice, GoPros have exceptional built-in stabilization in the form of HyperSmooth, so you don't always need a gimbal if you have enough adequate lighting. But if you don't have enough lighting, if you're trying to shoot in low light, then you absolutely need a gimbal. I have another video talking more about why you need a gimbal in the first place and also the exact GoPro settings that you want to use on your camera if you're going to be shooting in low light. So check out the link below for those videos. But in short, you still do need a gimbal in certain circumstances. And if you do need a gimbal for your GoPro, then I think this Hohem iSteady Pro 4 is your best choice at the moment. Accessory number 10 is a mini tripod. There are quite a few of them out there and I've definitely gone through a bunch of different brands. I feel like every single time I do this video, I have a new mini tripod to recommend. And in this case, it's no different. This time it's called the PGY Tech Cap Lock Mini Tripod. And so what I like about it, several things. It's a mini tripod that also extends, but up top we also have a ball head so we can position it all around. There's also a cold shoe mount on the side for attaching accessories, like a light or a microphone. And up top, we've got a quick release. So it's called a cap lock system. There's actually a couple of different mounts. I'm gonna talk about them in the next few products in this video. But the cap lock system is nice because it's a quick release. You'll notice that it has a quarter inch thread. 
which is especially nice for the GoPro Hero 12 because it is the first GoPro to officially come with that quarter inch mount built into the bottom of the camera. But if you don't want to use the quarter inch hole, then the cap lock system also comes with an optional GoPro mount as well. And in the case of the GoPro and the media mod, you have to actually use it. This regular quarter inch screw isn't quite long enough to attach to the hole on the GoPro when it's inside of the media mod. But you can still use this to take advantage of that cap lock quick release, which is especially useful for moving your GoPro to other mounts, such as the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Z which is a new release. It's also in the cap lock system for PGY Tech, but essentially it's the GoPro three-way, but it has a couple of extra tricks up its sleeve. First of all is the attachment point. Again, it is that cap lock system with either the quarter inch hole or the GoPro finger mount. And the Mantis Pod does have this built-in mini tripod on the base, but one of its legs also has this little flip out lever here, which is really nice for stabilizing this mount in really creative filming situations. The Mantis Pod is also $20 cheaper than the GoPro 3-Way 2.0. And because it has that flexible cap lock system, you can actually use it with other cameras, not just GoPro, such as your iPhone or the DJI Osmo Action 4 or any other small compact cameras. The next accessory I recommend is one of my favorites on this entire list because I end up using it way more than I expected and that is this neck mount. Now there are several different brands that make it. I think I included this on a previous video and it was Telesyn that made it, but this time it's by PGY Tech also under that cap lock quick release system. So you can interchangeably use it with the mini tripod or the mantis pod but this is like the best way that I've found to get POV shots with a small compact camera. The neck mount is incredibly stable, and what I like about the PGY Tech version in particular is that it comes with these optional straps that you could wrap around your arms to give you even more stability. That's something that I haven't seen on other similar neck mounts out there. And I really do bring this with me everywhere, and I use other cameras on it as well. I just used my iPhone on it the other day along with a MagSafe mount, and it was so easy to get my POV shots with it. Now before I talk about that one accessory that I don't recommend, let's talk about two more that I do. So these are kind of falling into accessory number 13 that I recommend, because they are actually the same price. They're both $39.99, and they're both by PGY Tech. You can see that I really am enjoying them right now for my GoPro accessories. But one is a suction cup mount and the other is a magnet mount. And both are incredibly strong. Like this magnet mount, I actually had a hard time getting it off of the magnetic surface that I put it on. So you wanna be a little careful when you're attaching it to your magnet. But it's nice because both have the ball head so you can adjust the position of your camera. And they're just great for putting your camera in places that you would not normally stick a mini tripod or a mount. And finally, I hate to end on a negative note, but I do have one accessory here that I do not recommend for your GoPro. And they are these filters by Polar Pro. Now I love Polar Pro. This is actually the first product by them that I have not been very impressed with. And it is sad because again, they make some really great products out there. Like their other filters to my other cameras are just no complaints really. But these Polar Pro GoPro filters, not quite the ones that I'd recommend. So these are three different ones. One is a diffusion filter, which I actually do like a lot. I think it does a really good job of cutting down on your highlights and creating a softer look on your GoPro. But the other two filters in here are anamorphic filters, which sound great in theory, but in practice, I just found that they were a little bit too crazy with the amount of flares that they were adding to every single light source out there. It just was overkill. And also when I was trying to use these in normal lighting condition, I was seeing a bunch of banding in my shots. And so there's something not quite right about these anamorphic filters, unfortunately. I do wish that you could just buy the mist filter by itself because I do think it works pretty well. Not well enough that it's worth buying this entire kit, but it's something that they could work on in the future for sure. So those are 13 plus accessories that I recommend getting for your GoPro. Let me know what you think in the comments below if there are any accessories that I'm missing or any accessories that you want to see highlighted in next year's video because again, I do this accessory guide every single year and I'm always on the lookout for new GoPro accessories to add to it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because I'm still working on the GoPro Hero 12 settings guide, which will be coming out soon, as well as an accessory guide for the DJI Osmo Action 4.